What's up internet, I'm Manish from rebellionrider.com and I'm back once again with another SQL tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we will learn how to insert or copy data from one table to another using SQL insert into statement or say insert into select statement. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to insert data into a table using SQL developer as well as using insert DML statement. Today, we will see the third way of inserting data into a table. Without much ado, let's jump over SQL developer and start writing query. As you know, we have a student table which we have created and used in the previous tutorial and I have populated this table with some data. Let me show you. This student table will be our source table whose data we are going to copy into a target table. Now we need this target table. This target table should have same structure as that of student table. To save the time, I have already created this target table by the name of student copy. And for the sake of simplicity, there are no constant on any column of this table. Let me show you the structure of student copy target table. And as you can see, this table is empty. This whole process of copying rows from one table to another involves only one simple insert into query. Let's see how to write this. There is no need to be intimidated by this little bit of subquery concept involved here. I'll be doing a separate tutorial on subquery, don't worry for now. Here in this query, we are inserting the entire data of table student, which is our source table, into table student copy, which is our target table. For the better understanding of this concept, let's make some space between these two lines. Now you people can see things clearly. As you can see, this query is a combination of two queries. In the first half of this query, we have our insert DML statement followed by name of target table student copy. And in the second half, we have a simple select statement where we are selecting entire data from source table student. Before execution, let me adjust the SQL developer IDE so that I can show you the execution side by side. Okay, everything is set now. As you can see, target table student copy is entirely empty. Now let's execute our query. Four rows inserted. Okay, let's refresh. Here is our result. Isn't it simple? Entire data of the source table student is copied into the target table student copy. Let's do our second query. But first let me close this output panel so that I can make some space. And you people can see what I'm going to do next. Okay, I think everything is set now. Now in our second query, we will see how to insert selected data into a table from another table. But before writing this query, I will remove entire data from the target table student copy so that you can better understand the concept. Say this time you just want to insert data from column first name and last name of source table student into target table student copy. Okay, <clears throat> let me make some space. Now I think query is clearly visible to you guys. Okay, let's move ahead. This query is slightly different from the previous query. Whenever we insert data into some selected columns of a table, we have to mention those columns in the insert query right after name of target table as we did here. As you can see, right after the name of target table student copy, I have specified the name of column in which I want to insert the data and in our case, it's first name and last name. Mind here to not to forget and close the list of column name in parenthesis, otherwise SQL compiler will give you an error. After that, we have our selected statement. This statement will return first name and last name which we want to insert. Let's execute the query. Now refresh here. And here we go. As you can see in the result, all the value in is 2 ID and contact column is null. There are values only in first and last name column. What happened with this query is that the output of select statement becomes the input of the insert statement. Let's take the example of this query. Here our select statement is returning value from first and last name column, which is its output. The output becomes the input of our insert query. Furthermore, there is one-on-one -on -one mapping between the column in this list. 
This means that value from the first column in the select list gets copied into the corresponding first column you mentioned in the insert list. Hope this query is clear. Let's jump on the third query. Once again, let me close this script output. Now let's write the third query. Similarly, you can use where clause to copy the data from one table to another. But once again, let's delete all the data from the table. Ok, everything is set. Say now, you want to copy only that row from the student table where stu id is 5. Let's execute. It says 0 rows inserted means, let me check. Ok, we do not have any fifth row in our source table student. So, what we will do, we will change this 5 from 4. Let's copy the data of a student where is 2ID is 4. Let me check who is there. Student with is 2ID 4 is Batman with 456678 contact number. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes. Our target table student copy doesn't have anything. So now let's execute this query. One row inserted. So now let's refresh. Here is our result. Hope you enjoyed watching. That's it for today. There is no reason of making videos if you don't like the content which I am producing. So please hit the thumbs up button and keep me motivated. Comment your feedback and please don't forget to subscribe. Take care. This is Manish.